when I first linked up with Watts, he had Twisted Guns. He from the South Side. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Me and him made a song together uh, called 24-7. Well, wait. Okay, rewind just a little bit. So how did y'all... How we... Watts, we Watts went to Beechcroft. If you want to get it all started, everybody came from Beechcroft. Mm -hmm. Demo went to Beechcroft his freshman year. He fought everybody the first fucking week, so he had to go. <laughs> did he? You feel me? Uh, fresh went to Beechcroft. My cousin Shout Mike went to, to Beechcroft. Like, uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, we all started this shit at Beechcroft. Like, but Beechcroft, I'm a North Side dude. I walk in, the entire South Side goes to Beechcroft. And that's crazy because even to this day, um, you know, South Side really don't mess with the North Side. We changed all that. And that's super. Yeah, what y'all did for a GMC is super dope. That's why I wanted to get into that conversation. So, uh, I right, so Watts had me standing on 22nd. And I'm from up north. You don't do that. Me and Watts out there, me and me and Fresh out there standing out there looking back and forth the whole time. Watts like, nah, y'all good. Same with him when he came up north. Nah, you good. Like, you know what I'm saying? We ain't got to worry about that. We, we, we blended all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, then, but like, Watts is my real family. Like, Watts my brother. His best friend got shot. And guess what he did? The moment. He found out his friend got shot. Out of everybody in the world, his best friend gets killed. He called me. Because he knew I could identify with that shit. Me and Watts so close, you know what I'm saying? And he's a South Side baby. Like, the heart of it. Like, you know what I'm saying? He ain't the outlier. No, you mentioned South Side. They know Watts. They know him from the park. They know him from back in the day. Like, they know he, he a real one. Yeah, yeah, I, I did a, I did a, when I interviewed him, I didn't know from the south side. I thought he was from up north because of GMC. Yeah. So. Ah, so what happened was, and that's where you go to the, try to, where me, where I try to be on some mogul shit or whatever. Once I got serious about the music, I called a meeting. We got the original GMC, some cats, that's rapping. It's me and Demo, a couple other cats. We got my nigga Kush at the time, Calvin Kush. He had a group. That's my guy. Yeah, he had a group where he was doing productions called New Boy Inc. Watts had Twisted Guns, which was him, uh, my nigga Young Hood, uh, G Streets, and Suave. They was all making songs. Watts introduced me to Magic, but we'll get there. You know what I'm saying? When I linked with Watts, we made a song together, and I realized how he was about music. Instantly, I said, hey, bro, you know, Bad Boy had Bad Boy South and all that shit. I was like, bro, I want y'all to be GMC South. That's how that came about, because he agreed with me. That was the first deal I ever struck, first agreement with a person about business. He like, yeah, well, shit. He got his whole team to be GMC South. Um, we did that for a minute, and then it was like, nah. We done with, you know, like I said, as time was going on, there was a lot of shit going on. We was all young, getting into trouble, locked up, doing little shit. But when we decided to take it serious, it was GMCMG, GMC Music Group. And Watts, it was me, Watts, Demo, and Kush. We was the four label heads of that. That's where you get, you gotta understand, nobody was in the city signing niggas or doing anything like that. Like, bro, we was signing niggas. I had Rico Music first. I had Bangy first. Uh, we, we we went and got a studio, but I already done missed the whole part where we went to Magix first because I was recording all my shit at Magix. Magix was the first engineer that, you know, the first dude who recorded me back in the day was Raven, Nightlife. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Raven, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with you forever. You feel me? He the one first let me hear my shit on, on, um, on Wax. I got a song called Suicidal Mind. It's probably one of my best songs ever. You feel me? It's me talking back and forth to myself. You know, I'm a deep voice to the regular voice. But uh, Watts introduced me to Magic, and that's when I turned up. I thought I was Hove. I thought I could rap in that bitch. I thought I could rap in that bitch. I was like, I was like, this nigga make my voice sound so good, bro. I'm the best. Where was he at? Was he on Oakland Park? Nah. Oh, he was out there. I met him out there on the south side. Yeah. Uh, but he giving me 10 hours for 100. And I'm motherfucking stuffing that nigga like, huh. But I ain't, but in 10 hours, how much you think I'm getting done? I come with my shit uh, rehearsed. So, and uh, we doing a song an hour. Mixtape done today. That's how hungry I was. And I developed a, 
uh, work, you know, just a work ethic in that. Um, and the music was my love. Same way basketball was my love. See, I change. It's not that I change loves. It's just I'm an artist, and I, once I get to feeling some shit, I get to feeling that shit. Let's let's um let's go back into a little bit of the GMC situation because uh, I remember when y'all converted. Well, I don't know. All news of GMC. You would know the GMCMG, the yeah. music label. That's when we was but, going hard. But yeah. what I remember is I remember for like. Like a year or two straight, it was like y'all was making crazy noise and like filling up Scully's. No, no limit records, bro. That was the blueprint behind that. I got twelve artists. Everybody about to have a CD out this week, and we about to do a show. Our first show was the Scully's on a Tuesday night. Never seen people outside on a Tuesday night. It wasn't no Taco Tuesday back in this day. It wasn't none of that. We filled up Scully's. And on that's a, on a regular shit, bro. Like you know what I mean. Like I tell people this, bro. Even to this day, I'm nervous before everything that I do. I'm nervous that's before good. every. I'm nervous before every event that we do. And somehow, by the end of every event, I'll be like, "This is amazing." So, to, okay. So my question is, like, like, because um, before the actual event, y'all had to come up with a game plan and say, "This, this is what we're gonna do." So, like, but we was changing clothes. That first concert, bro, no, it was no, so no. much of a planned out show, bro. We, I was changing clothes. I wore three different outfits that night, bro. I would never do that today. The fuck? I was excited as fuck, bro. I was, we changed clothes three different times. Like, nah, when this dude go on stage, bro, I'm going to pop back out with a whole different outfit. It's some wild shit. But we believed it. I, I told the team, we got to treat everything like we on. You know what I'm saying? And... You know, not even to skip to the part of it, but it was just like, I love, I love the music, man. But you know, once I, once me, once me and Watts decided we we could either be the rappers or we could be Baby and Slim, that turned up a whole different thing. When I stopped rapping, it was because I believed in nothing but the Almighty 